Hello and welcome to this video of Power BI Do-It-Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about KP, KPI traffic light visualizations. Now, open the Power BI dashboard using the Sudha template as we, are, we have been following in the previous set of videos. And you can download the template files from this location. Now, Before we start, let me show you how it will look like when the KPI traffic light is ready. This is how it's going to look like. You will have city, cross profit, as well as KPI indicators, either green or red color, based on the profit. And then it's a very simple calculation, Unicare 9679, but I'm going to talk all about it step by step in this video. So, so go to the city-wise analysis sheet and then make some space for a table visual. So again, what I showed you was the final output. Now I'm going to redo it in front of you right now. So here you have city-wise analysis sheet. Click on this and let me make some space to add a table here. So I'm going to add a table visual, this one. And then I'm going to add customer name. Remember last time we had city, so I'm going to use customer name and then the the gross profit here all right so so add a customer name and gross profit measure calculation in the list table visual as shown so this is what we have added next is so add a measure calculation as a KPI traffic light which is Unicare 9679. So let me show you how I reached to this number. So there is a website uh, altcodes.net circle symbols. You can search on the website and find out or Google search on all the Googles for circle symbol. Now I'm using 9679 which is the black circle. This is very small. So in a few minutes I'm going to show you a bigger circle. So for now I'm using 9679 as the decimal code and that is why the calculation Unicare 9679. So I'm going to add a new calculation like this. Right click, new measure and here I'm going to add the calculation like this and say done and you would see the measure added here and I'm going to add this measure in the table so you see that the the dots are very small so add the measure calculation to the list which is KPI traffic light and then set the font color in conditional formatting tab so let me show you so click on this one go to KPI light traffic click here go to conditional formatting and then go to font color and then on this format just say color scale you can here select cross profit underscore C which is the calculation the lowest value value is red and highest value is green now I can do a diverging also so I'm going to say middle range values are this. So this is lowest, middle range, and the highest values. And I'm going to say OK. And you can see that all these colors have changed. This may not be looking very pretty. So I'm going to go back here, go to conditional formatting, font color, and do not say diverging. It's going to be the lowest value or the highest value. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see this the value. I can increase the font size a little bit here so it's, it, it appears uh, a bit bigger but then these small circles can be made even bigger by looking at the the codes and if you scroll down the list there is a black large circle 
it is 11044 so let me change it here the unicar I'm gonna say 11044 now it's bigger so now you can see it's a KPI light indicator based on the same values and this is a great thing I mean you can change the name here uh, make it more uh, basic customer name and I can remove the C here I can just say gross profit all right now let us do some hands-on exercise on the same all right so hands-on number 28 29 so download the template files from the location this and then use any one of the template file then create a KPI traffic light chart based on the quantity in the F shipment table so there's a quantity column in the F shipment table see if you can do that and then finally you want to create a good looking dashboard by using KPI traffic lights tool tips and ask a question functionality what we've done in the last few videos thank you for watching